Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, allow me to apologize for my behavior in this courtroom. I have been emotional, temperamental, and quite frankly, zealous in my efforts to acquire a conviction in the state's case against Mr. Crow. And if that in itself were convicted of a crime in this forum, I would stand before you as guilty today. But I wonder, I wonder how many of you would be guilty of the same crime. I've watched you throughout the course of this trial, and I've observed your wrinkled brows, your clenched fists, and the way you shook your heads in disbelief. Oh, believe me, I understand the body language very well. You sat through detailed, heinous, horrific accounts of this crime that could only be described as evil. You heard two eyewitnesses testify to the fact that Mr. Crow was indeed present at the scene of the crime. You heard Mr. Crow perjure himself under oath and then try to recant his involvement by another poorly conceived lie. And now he tried to stop it all. Well, you know what, for me, that's not good enough. And for you, I know that's not good enough. And for seven little girls, that is just not good enough. Because all of a sudden, instead of seven girls with endless possibilities in front of them, we now have several multiples of seven nevers. Seven graduates that will never cross that stage. Seven sweet 16 parties that will never reach that age. Seven freshmen who will never experience the first year of college. Seven mentors who will never share their knowledge. And seven brides who will never see their babies smile. Capricia James, Shamia Howard, Celeste Lewis Ortega, Giovanni Washington, Sharika Newman, Kishay Walker, and Asher Jennings. They will never do anything ever again except be remembered. As a father, as a man, I could not stand by and accept the notion that that man could walk away free. The defense accused me of allowing this case to get to me in a very personal way. But I ask you, the jurors, after all the evidence that you've seen and considered, how could you not? How could you not? Thank you. Not bad. <laughs>